Hey guys, how's it going? It's Shrake here, and back with a Maple Story video. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys some of my clips of my Adele, as well as give you guys some of my experiences on playing the Adele class. So let's start with the equipments first. Um, so yeah, the, my equipments actually has gotten a lot better. Um, since my last video on uh, Maple Story, and that's because there was a double miracle time. Um, you know during you know, the first recording of this game when I was recording my uh, Phantom and Shade. So, it was the very first time participating in the Double Miracle time, so it was definitely an experience. Um, I always wanted to participate in it because I always thought the event was going to be, you know, so much fun. Like, seeing your clips tear up, I think that's pretty cool. So, I always wanted to participate in it, but I was never able to because, well, your boy couldn't afford cubes. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, now I'm not older, so yeah, I have the money. So yeah, I decided to participate in the Double Miracle Time for my very first time. And I have to say, definitely very fun seeing your equips tear up uh, like before, but it does get costly. So yeah, <laughs> um, normally I don't really buy cubes. Um, I, I don't like spending money on cubes. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was fun, definitely a cool experience, but I'm not sure if I would do it again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, now for rambling, I'm going to show you guys my equips. So, this is my um, Solid Golux Ring. Uh, there actually also was a Spell Trace event, um, along with the Double Miracle Time. So, I did Spell Trace some of my stuff. So, yeah, um, so this is my Solid Golux Ring. Um, I think I used... I think I used a Chaos Scroll, like a uh, Chaos Miracle Scroll or something. Uh, chaos of. I don't even know what it is anymore. <laughs> I used something, okay? I used a Chaos Scroll, so. Yeah, it, it, it um, gave me plus one attack and then like plus one strength, which I guess is okay. Um, gave me plus five luck though, that I didn't notice, but that's pretty good. <laughs> um, when I 6% strength, um, my Fox Ring, um, my 6% strength, um, I think I scrolled this was like, actually it, there's no <laughs> scroll at all, it, it just enhanced. Um, so it, it, there's that. Um, next up is my Silver Blossom Ring with the 3% um, strength. And this scroll randomly with like 70% scrolls and then Star Force. And I have my Synergy Ring which I recently just got. Uh, I only have two of them so far so it's not really that great. I plan on getting like three more. Or maybe not three more, but like maybe at least like two more for other characters. So there's this. It's, it's like the pencil is kind of poop. <laughs> well, it's not kind of poop. It's actually poop. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Um, a pink holy cup. Um, <laughs> it is clean basically. It doesn't have any of those bonus stats. So yeah, it'll be a lot better. I don't really think I'll plan on upgrading this anytime soon because. I'm broke. <laughs> um, okay, next up is a Superior Engraved Golux Pendant. Um, this one was already unique at the time, um, before the whole Double Miracle thingy. So, yeah, I ended up getting lucky, getting 15. Oh, not 15, oh wow, actually, it's 18% strength, okay. <laughs> um, I, I kind of got mixed up with my uh, time cape, but this, this is 18% um, strength, which is actually pretty good. I uh, got very lucky with the uh, potential, so. I don't think I'm ever gonna cube this anytime soon. <laughs> um, next up is my Absolute Blade Caster. This is the weapon you get for logging in 100 hours. Um, the whole Maple Relay thingy. Uh, after you log in for like 80 or you claim the reward like 80 times, you get a free Absolute uh, weapon box, or you also get a, uh, or you can pick like you know a, 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 some kind of pendant. Dominator or Dom... I don't even know, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I picked the, the Absolute Weapon because right now, like I said before, I'm broke, so I can't really afford this. <laughs> also, um, it's actually pretty good. Uh, definitely really great for like beginners. Um, well, people who are just like not funded <laughs> and can't really scroll their own stuff and cube. Um, so yeah, what sucks about this weapon is that you can't really cube it. But, like cube like potential whatever um will always be the same I, i'm not even sure you can even scroll it i think you might be able, maybe able to i think 
Um, it's cold with 70% scroll, so it's not that great, but it's still pretty good. Like, 357 attack, that's pretty good. Like, <laughs> um, that's good. It's also star, um, star Force to 17 stars, I think. Yeah, I think 17 stars. So, it, it overall, it's pretty good um, until you get your own. Um, but I uh, <laughs> don't think I'll be getting one anytime soon. But uh, this does the job really well, so I'm gonna keeping this for a, a long time. Um, I feel like there's more to say, but I, I, I completely forgot what I'm trying to say, so yeah. Um, next up is the Superior Engraved Gold Pendant. I scrolled it with 170% scroll, oh no, 70, 30% scroll during spell trace, and only one works, so I'm probably gonna end up one day clean, or oh, not clean, like, um, innocent scrolling this, um, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, it is, uh, unique, it has 6% strength. So that's pretty decent. Um, a lot of my weapons or a lot of my unique equips are only six percent strength. Um, I like to try to get at least nine percent. Um, but getting Master Crafting Cube is kind of a pain. <laughs> so yeah, six percent pretty good for now. Um, next up is my Royal Warrior Helmet. This one I actually got pretty lucky on in the spell tracing thingy. Um, I think seven percent. Uh, seven. Uh, 7 of the 30% scrolls work, so I got really lucky right here. Um, so yeah, it, it is 114 strength. 6% uh, all stats from the whole bonus stuff. Um, plus the weapon power, as, I know, weapon power. <laughs> attack power as well. Uh, so overall, pretty good. And a 6% strength. Um, this is great. Um, so yeah, next up is the condensed power crystal. This is whatever. <laughs> Just scrolled randomly with the whole Star Force thing, so nothing too special about that. Uh, next one, the aquatic letter eye accessory, which actually I should work on the potential on this using the occult cubes. Um, but it is what it is for now. <laughs> um, it is plus 63 uh, strength with. Oh, that's about it. <laughs> um, next up is the Eagle Eye Warrior armor. Um, this top, I also, also scroll with 30% scrolls, and four of them work, which is great. Um, 53, not 53, <laughs> 83 strength, 6% uh, all stats. Um, really good. Like I love the bonus stats. It just makes it a lot easier to uh, upgrade your character's weapons and make them stronger. With the whole bonus stats, so I, th I think that was really cool. It's definitely a great addition to the game. Um, definitely helps those who are, you know, not really that funded get a decent amount of like a damage boost to be able to fight harder bosses. Whereas also giving in those in the end game and also those who are really funded to have something to go for and continue upgrading their. Um, Equip stuff like that to make me even stronger. So, I thought that overall the whole bonus thingy, bonus stat stuff is really good and great for the game. Um, but yeah, anyway, it has 6% strength and it is unique. So, yeah. <laughs> Next up is the Trickster Warrior Pants. Same thing 30% scrolls, 4 of them work. Um, 99 strength, 5% all stats. Um, and it has 6% strength. And unique, so <laughs> yeah. Like I said before, a lot of my equips are six percent strength, so yeah. Anyways, uh, next up is my shoes. This shoes, nothing special. Cubed it with not cubed. <laughs> scrolled it with um, I think thirty percent scrolls. No, 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 I scrolled it with 70 seventy percent scrolls. Um, so yeah, I, I actually I should start first this, but oh well. Uh, I completely forgot about that. Um. Yeah, six percent strength. Um, now I think about it, if it, if it did start for some of my equips and stuff like that, I, I could, oh, oh well. <laughs> um, I probably would have a lot more higher range. Um, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, next up is my half earrings. They are six percent strength, and that's kind of about it. Nothing so special about this. Um, the royal black metal shoulder. It just randomly scrolled and star forced. <laughs> um, my Commercy gloves, um, plus 10 attack power. I, it, it scrolled with 
100% scrolls because I infused my, I think one of the level 140 warrior gloves um, with this commercy glove, so it, it comes with 100% uh, scrolling, so can't really do anything about that. Um, so yeah, I was really here for the 6% strength, um, Futuroids, and whatever, the heart. Um, next up is the Gold Knight's Emblem. This is 9% strength, unique. Man, I love seeing all these gold equips on a character because I never really had unique equips before. Um, I feel like before the whole Double Miracle Time thing, I really only had two or three unique equips. Um, but after the whole Double Miracle Time, it definitely like quadruple the amount of uniques I have, uh, which is great. Uh, but at the same time, like I said before, the whole double miracle time thing is very costly and it's not something I would well, do you know, often. Like, I probably would never buy, actually, I never really buy cubes outside of like the Maple Rewards and stuff like that, or sometimes spending Maple Points on the cubes, but I've never really spent my own money on cubes because I don't really think it's worth it. Um, the only time I feel like I would spend money on cubes is like before double miracle time. Which happens like every so often. Like I don't even sure how many times it happens. Like maybe once every couple of months. So yeah, <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if I ever want to spend money on cube ever again, <laughs> even with double vehicle time. Because um, I feel like one time is a pretty good experience. Um, so <laughs> I, I don't really know if I want to do that again. Um, but yeah. Anyways, um, next up is. Crystal Vintage Badge, which is not, it's just kind of poop. <laughs> it's basically base stats, so yeah. I have this medal, the Commercy Forever Friend, plus 3 attack power, and 6 strength, which is eh. <laughs> Next up is my Noble Blind, uh, Blind, <laughs> Noble Blade Binder. Um, it has 6% damage, and that's kind of about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, next up is my Tyrant Cape. It's... Uh, I scrolled it with some kind of chaos scroll. I think there's like a chaos miracle thing or incredible whatever. I don't know. <laughs> it, it's been a long time since I scrolled it, so I really don't know what the heck I used. So, yeah. Um, I did get one um, Star Force enhancement on it, because why not? And it, it, it adds a lot of uh, stats to just doing it once, so... It's crazy. <laughs> um, these Tyrant Caves are crazy, but uh, I think Absolab Caves are better in terms of set, because if you have an Absolab set, I think it's better than the Tyrant Cave, but I have no idea. Uh, I really don't care. <laughs> I, I can't afford any of that stuff anyway. So yeah, um, I'm not sure if I complained about this in my last video, but I was talking about the whole Frozen Cape thingy, like I, if you... I fused the uh, Frozen Cape with my uh, Tyrant Cape, and if you guys watch my um, Zero video, like my equipment video or whatever video I did on my Zero a while back, you'll see that this cape is actually blue. Um, I fused it with a Tyrant Cape because I really like the blue cape, <laughs> and for some reason they decided to change this to red, and I mean, it still looks pretty cool, but just that I really like the blue. <laughs> um, so I, I, I don't know why they changed it, uh, even if they did, if they changed it, right? Um, it still says Frozen Cape, so... It, it, frozen Cape should be blue. If they're gonna change it, they should change it to like Burning Cape or something. But I, I don't know. <laughs> this is Nexon we're talking. Uh, Nexon? Nexon? I don't I have no idea. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't really expect too much from them, so... Yeah, it, it kinda sucks <laughs> that it's not blue anymore, but oh well, can't do anything about it. Um... But yeah, it has 50% strength, so yeah, uh, I, I kind of got confused with this and the uh, pendant, so yeah, I got pretty lucky here. I, whenever I score like my unique stuff, all I go for is 9% strength. If I get anything else, like 15% strength or 19, oh, no, 19, 18% strength, that's just like all luck. <laughs> I really don't go for the, you know, the secondary um, main stat. I really just go for at least one prime line, I think people call it. Um, 
but yeah, hopefully you guys can't hear my dog in the background, but you're most likely gonna hear. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that's kind of about it for my equips. Um, I guess I'll show you guys my arcane thingy. Um, this is like level five. Right now they're having some kind of uh, event with Adele where you get this free box, and every week or so you get those uh, those ten of those coupon thingies, and you can use it to level up your um, arcane symbol. You also do dailies and level that up. Um, I also get a whole bunch of two hundred coupons, which I'm never gonna use because <laughs> I really don't level past two hundred. I don't even know how I can even got to level two hundred five. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just gonna go to waste, unfortunately. <laughs> it kind of sucks. Like I wish I could give these away or give them some to my other mule characters if I would decide to play any more characters. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it sucks. But oh well. Um, but yeah, after that, I don't think anything else. The cash stuff, whatever. Um, so yeah. Anyways, that's kind of about it for the whole equipment thingy. Um, overall, Adele was a lot of fun. This is the first class I ever got to 200 super fast. Like, it took me three days to get to level 200 because I I really loved the class a lot. It was so much fun leveling it up. Um, the mobbing is insane in this class, <laughs> and this class is super strong too. Great for bossing. Uh, I think this is the most, like, at least the strongest class in uh, KMS as well, even with the nerf. So. Yeah, um, usually the newer classes are always the strongest. Eventually Adele, you know, will, you know, drop down in rankings eventually. <laughs> but for now, it's definitely still the strongest class. I believe this is KMS's newest class still, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, this class is a lot of fun. <laughs> the skills are so flashy, like, it's great. Um... The only thing I really don't like about Dell is the fact that there is a lot of skills. <laughs> and sometimes when I'm grinding, uh, I always forget to use skills. Like for example, I've got to use the um, this skill. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta use this skill. Or I forget to use the Noble Summons, or the Aether Bloom, or the Shard Breaker, or the what the heck this is. and. I rarely even use the um, hyper skill. <laughs> I really like using Ruin and Infinity Blade. Like, these two are the coolest skills. Um, the high, uh, fifth job skills, but uh, yeah, there's so many skills. It's, it's kind of hard to keep track of. Not only that, but you gotta keep summoning your um, thingies, your blades, <laughs> every 20 seconds, which kind of gets annoying. Um, usually, your chat bar gets filled with, um, you know, uh, saying that you have no more blades in your uh, thingy trilogy, <laughs> so it's, I think the biggest thing I really don't like about this class is the micromanaging. Um, like you gotta keep track of everything, and I found I feel that's kind of annoying. Um, I don't know. Um, I guess that's what I really don't like about classes. Um, same thing with my phantom. My phantom has so many buffs <laughs> that every three minutes I gotta. Go to the rope and spam every single buff. <laughs> it, it, I guess that's what I don't really like about you know new classes nowadays and kind of like fifth jobs. Well, actually, I don't, I don't like I don't like fifth job. Um, like some fifth job skills that adds more buffs, and I feel like it's so annoying. <laughs> um, but then here I am complaining about buffs that helps you get stronger. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I guess maybe that's why I like so. I like Shade so much because uh, I really play. I played the Shade uh, when I was doing the whole burning event thingy, and what I really like about Shade is that it barely had any buffs. <laughs> um, a lot of the, his buffs are passive, so yeah, that's what makes it so great. <laughs> I don't have to worry about spamming buffs, or whatever. I just play, you know. But uh, yeah, another thing I guess I don't really like about um, the Adele or Rather, a lot of classes nowadays is that it's like one dimensional in that you really just spam, you know, the same skills over and over again. I like, I guess I really like classes like pre Big Bang, uh, Buccaneers, um, the Zero class, and the Iran, in that you can basically combo and stuff like that and do different stuff. And it's just so much more fun and interactive. Whereas skills, not skills, um, classes nowadays like 
the Adele, the, uh, I'm playing with Phantom, even my Shade. You really just plus one skill and then just clear everything. <laughs> um, I guess it just, just, just kind of feels boring. Like, there's something about the Zero class and the pre... Not, I guess it's not really pre Big Bang Buccaneers, but like older Buccaneers and the random. It's just so much more interactive. Like, the whole combo system. I really like. Um, so yeah, I guess that's I guess a couple of the cons I don't like about Adele and some of the classes in general nowadays. Um, I, I guess I just don't like classes that spam, you know, skills without... I, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but yeah, the, the whole, overall the Adele class is definitely a lot of fun. Um, so I've been playing this class for a while. It's definitely a lot of fun. Like, I enjoy clearing every single mob in the map fully quickly. Uh, the mobility in the class is great. Boss singing is great. This class does so much damage. Um, it's, it's definitely a lot of fun, but I guess I don't really have as much fun in this class as I thought I would. I thought this class would be like my new main and stuff like that, but after playing this class for a little bit and then going back on my zero, um, I realized that I really like my zero a lot because of how interactive it is and that you can combo and stuff like that. I think that's much more fun than just. I guess spamming a skill like without having to worry about combo and stuff like that so yeah I don't know <laughs> I feel like after this video I might move back to my zero like transfer my equips to my zero again um, and you know, play, play my zero instead um, I also really like the phantom class like even though I say that you know the phantom is kind of the same as the Dell in that you kind of just uh, spam skills and you don't have to worry about anything else <laughs> Um, it's like kind of like one dimensional and it eventually gets boring. What's good about the Phantom is that you can you can change skills like if I'm bored with a certain skill I can change it to something else and that's what's so cool about Phantoms. I really like um, I don't know. Hopefully you guys get what I'm saying <laughs> I'm pretty sure I kind of you know piss some people off what I'm saying, but I guess it's different for everybody, for everybody. like this is my own opinion um, I don't know. It's something I just like love about Classes that can combo. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, buddy. Yeah, anyways, um, man, this video is very long. <laughs> I just think cut this video to make it shorter, but uh, yeah, overall, Adele was great. A lot of fun. <laughs> but uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think this is really gonna be my main. I, I guess I don't really have any mains in general. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, um, I'm gonna get to the bossing part of this video. Um, I definitely gonna leave a timestamp in the beginning for those who want to get right into the whole bossing stuff. But yeah, this is just my Adele is so much stronger. I'll be finding some of the harder bosses, or not, I guess not really harder bosses, but like the only hardest boss I'm really gonna do is um, <laughs> Magnus. Uh, not, Mag not Magnus. Um, Chaos Horntail. Um, I can only I haven't really done the other pre quest for the on the bosses so. Yeah, I'm just too lazy to do that, so <laughs> Chaos Horn Tail is really the toughest boss you're gonna see me fight. But uh one thing I wanna show is my range, which I totally forgot. Um so right now this is my range. Um which is insane. <laughs> like seeing a range this high is crazy. If you guys see my uh Phantom video and my um shade video, you'll see my range right now is double what their range is. It's insane. <laughs> it might be because my equips are so, yeah, or at least my equips are unique now and they're properly scrolled, which is why it's so much higher. And like I said before, if I star for some of my other stuff, I could have got like 900k range. And it's, it's insane. Like, wow. <laughs> Dude, I never in like a million years where I think that I'll be close to reaching 1 mil range. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, anyways. That's kind of about it. Um, really, everything I wanted to say. Um, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, you know, on what you guys think about Dell. For those of you guys who are maining a Dell or have played a Dell. Um, unless I really like this class, I don't think I'm really gonna be playing it. Um, after this video, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's enough rambling for this part of the video. Uh, I just really wanted to get my thoughts out there and stuff like that. Um, I'm not even sure I'll be doing any more Ripper Story videos after this. 
because I don't have any motivation to do any maple story videos. But if you guys want more maple story videos, definitely hit the like subscribe button and let me know in the comments. And maybe I might do more you know, occasionally. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's kind of about this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and hopefully, you guys enjoy the next part of this video, which is the whole boss thing, stuff like that. Which is probably what you guys are waiting for. So yeah, enough rambling. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the rest of this video, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.